Welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section and thank you very much to everyone who has been part of this channel and to our subscribers thank you very much for trusting us and if you're a new viewer please subscribe to this channel thank you for tuning in today all right so today we have this problem before us five plus four three times three now if you look at this it's more like a scale right so um you're going to consider um equality when looking at this kind of uh, diagram so looking at this five plus four is nine three times three is nine isn't it so you're going to do something to this in order to uh ensure that they weigh the same so looking at the second example, you have 24 minus 4 is 20 and 4 times 5 is also 20, right? So let us, uh, let's try to find each of uh, these numbers. So to find, to find 5, assuming 5 isn't given, so you're going to have 3, 3 times 3, which is already 9. And since there's an addition here, you're going to subtract 4 from 9. So we have 9 minus 4 is 5. Okay, so uh, let's try to find, let's do the same thing for 5, sorry, for 4. So we have 9 already here and 9 minus 5 is 4. Then the next, let's find one of the three. We're going to use this 9 and divide by the next number 3 and we have 3 and you do the same thing for the other 3 use this 9 divided by the 3 which is 3 all right so let's try this same method for this this uh, example or exercise um, let's try to find 24 okay so here we have our 20 and here we have our 4 so we're going to have this 20 from 4 times 5 plus 4 changing this minus to plus plus 4 we have our 24 then to find 4 we have our 20 and we have our 4, right? So we're going to find our minus 4. Look at this. This is a, min is a negative 4. So our negative 4 here. So we're going to have our 20. This is, uh, this is a positive 24. But remember, we are supposed to subtract. So we have minus 24 right and 20 minus 24 is minus 4 right so the next we have to find 4 we have our 20 here divided by the 5 here it's 4 and to find 5 we have 20 divided by 4 is 5 right so i hope you understood this section thank you very much and do well to like and subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions bye